Hey guys, Style662 here, going to show you how to pick a master combination lock in under a minute. So first let me start by just orienting you to the lock. This is the combination dial, which you'll be spinning and manipulating in order to open it up. And then on the top, this piece is called the shackle. It pull, pulls up and down just a little bit uh, when it's locked, and then when it's open it obviously uh, comes all the way out. But the key to cracking these locks is all shackle and dial manipulation and here I'll go into that right now. So, in order, to, in order to get the first number, what you're going to want to do is apply a slight amount of shackle pressure, not enough uh, so that you can't turn the dial like this, where it won't turn, and not too little where uh, you basically aren't applying any pressure at all, some medium amount where you'll feel some resistance in the dial and you might hear some grinding or uh, clicking inside it as you try and turn. It might sound like it's resisting you turning it, and that's about the right amount that you want. So you're going to start by turning it to the right clockwise, and what you're going to do is you're going to start with uh, a little bit more shackle pressure, and as you turn it you're going to feel a lot of resistance. As you keep turning you're going to slowly let off shackle pressure until as you turn the dial around you'll hear it resist at only one point as you go around. It'll catch and provide a little bit more resistance at just a single point as you go all the way around. Once you identify this point on this lock, it looks like it's at about ten and a half. Uh, if it's in between a number, you're just going to round up. So this is between ten and eleven, so we're going to round up to eleven. So you're going to write that number down, eleven, and you're going to add five to that first number. So that'll give us sixteen. And that means that sixteen is our first number in the combination of this master lock. Now from here you're going to apply a little bit more shackle pressure and you're going to turn counterclockwise. You're going to have to turn counterclockwise for a few turns until the lock will stop and it won't turn counterclockwise anymore. Once you get to this point you're going to do the same style of shackle pressure that you did for the first number except this time now you're going to turn clockwise again and you can only go a single turn and then you have to go back to that lock point and try try it again and you're doing the same technique you're going to find a point keep releasing shackle pressure until you find a point where there's only one uh, location of resistance so for us and you might have to do this a number of times to find that single point of resistance and you have to be very gentle it looks like this one I can feel there's a tiny bit of resistance between uh, 0 and 1 and we're going to use that uh, same rule we had before which is if it's between a number you're going to round up so if it's between 0 and 1 we're going to round up to 1 so that means our second number is 1 once you've reached this point, you're gonna once you've reached this point, the, you're gonna find the last number. In order to find the last number, you're gonna turn clockwise a few times to reset the lock, and then you can start at zero and apply a lot of upwards pressure, the most pressure you can pretty much you can apply, and then slowly turn the lock clockwise until it locks down on a point where you can't turn it anymore. You're going to take a look at that point and if it's in between two numbers you're just going to ignore it and then you're going to release shackle pressure just a tiny bit until you can turn it just a few spaces until it locks again and then if it locks and you can turn the dial left and right and it's between a number like see how it's between 34 and 36 right at 35 35 is in the center essentially you're going to write 35 down. So you write 35 down, release a little bit of pressure, and go to the next number that it locks on. It looks like this locked on in between two again. So we're going to write this one down. This is 32. And then you're going to release a little bit of pressure and try it again. You're going to do this all the way around. So this is in between, so we won't write it down. Go a little bit further. 25 is directly between. So we'll write that one down. So now we have 25, 32, and 35 written down. Try it again. 
This isn't directly between, so we'll just skip it. Next one, it's not in between, so we'll skip that one. This one is between, so we'll write 15 down. And that's not moving very much. Let's see. Okay, that's not between a number, so we'll leave that one. And this final one is 5, so we'll write 5 down. And that's not between a number, so we'll leave that. So now we've went all the way around writing down a bunch of numbers. You should have either 4 or 5 or some number close to that uh, written down. So once you have all the numbers written down, like I do here, you're going to notice that a few of the numbers are going to be multiples of each other. 5, 15, 25, and 35 in our case. And then there's going to be an oddball. And in this set of numbers, it's 32. And that is going to be your last number. So, you combined the first number that you found with the second number that you found and the third, and that should be your combination. So once you have your numbers, you're going to just dial them in, starting out clockwise. Dial on your first number, 16. Then go counterclockwise, pass the number you just entered to enter your second number, which is 1. And then back clockwise to our last number, 32. Pull the shackle, and it opens. There you go. How to open a master lock in under a minute, if you know what you're doing. Now, if this technique didn't work for you, or you didn't get it the first time, uh, there's a few things you can try. The last number is typically the one you're going to be most confident in, since when you write them all down and the odd one out is almost always the last number. Uh, but you might try modifying the first two numbers by a single digit up or down. Uh, so you'd try 15, 132, or 14, 132, and then try 16, 232, or 16, uh, 30, 32, or rather 16, 40, 32. Uh, so you could try those, and then if that doesn't work for you, then you're probably just going to need to keep working with the first two numbers. The first two can be a little tricky since it's all about feel. Uh, you really just need to, to get good with the shackle pressure and sensing even the slightest little bit of uh, resistance as you turn the dial around to, to really pick up and notice that number that you're going to find in the beginning. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go forth and conquer. Style 662 out.